so CC West's uh, channel has disappeared from YouTube and therefore all of the videos that he made has also disappeared off of YouTube. So his two videos about Mabel that I made responses to are now no longer viewable uh, on YouTube. And uh, that disappoints me really because uh, I feel bad about having these response videos to CC West on my channel and nobody can actually now go and consult the original videos that I'm responding to now. Uh, they're just going to have to take my word for it about some of the stuff that he says that perhaps I play clips of or um, talk about uh, in my video, but they can't go and watch the original videos to be absolutely sure that that's genuinely what he said. Um, so I'm kind of in two minds about whether or not I should keep my response videos up because it seems unfair and maybe kind of pointless to have videos that response videos where the original video doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so if anybody's got any kind of opinion one way or the other about that, uh, please do let me know. Um, but I also wanted to make uh, this quick video uh, just to um, kind of just say a few more things about C.C. West and his attitude towards the character Mabel. Um, just get them off my chest, uh, just to sort of properly uh, like wrap this whole thing up. Um, the first thing is um, I just want to take you back to when I first discovered Gravity Falls, uh, which was about 10 years ago now, uh, just as season one was ending. Uh, I just saw on Disney XD that uh, the first episode was going to be on in a few minutes, and I'm like, oh, perfect, I've heard a little bit about this show, how it's quite good. Uh, check this out. And uh, this may surprise you, but uh, during like that opening, that pre-title scene, I actually wasn't uh, thinking this was going to be very good, because I was thinking, oh, narration, uh, big action scene, and then taking us back with a freeze frame as well. And uh, I wasn't so keen on the animation style. You know, it all, it all came across as a bit, like, cliched and a bit sort of done and tried and tested and, you know, all a bit sort of safe. You know, like, oh, I don't think this is going to be very good. And then I just saw Mabel being Mabel, you know, flirting with boys and, you know, being the way that she is zany and everything and like, oh, okay, yeah, now this is this is more my kind of thing, yeah. I, I didn't even, to be honest, when I when it came to the end of the first episode, I didn't even really care that much about what the story was going to be going forward. You know, I, please just give me more Mabel. I mean, I was enjoying Stan as well, but Mabel was the main thing for me. Um, it was really making me love the show, and uh, that didn't change throughout my whole experience watching the show. So, you know, like, that was the real USP for me, is, like, Mabel is just so compelling as a character. You know, her design, her voice, and just her whole presence on screen. You know, I just couldn't get enough of it. So... When I saw C.C. West's uh, original video, it really did sort of mystify me a little bit. Like, how can you really consider yourself a Gravity Falls fan and not be a fan of Mabel? That's, that's so weird to me, you know, like, what else is there to enjoy in Gravity Falls if you don't enjoy Mabel? Maybe Stan, maybe a little bit about the mystery in the story, but if you, if you don't enjoy Mabel, like, one of the main characters, it seems so weird to me that you would even be enjoying the show at all. Um... So uh, it, it really does seem strange to me that uh, there would be a large contingent of the Gravity Falls fandom that does not like Mabel, but uh, certainly the response to my response video and the comment section on CC West's video does seem to suggest that there are a lot of people that uh, agree with him. They think Mabel's an awful person or something. Uh, apparently, you know, by me trying to defend Mabel, I sound like a Holocaust apologist, uh, as just something one person said to me once. Uh, and apparently I also hate Dipper. I'm not entirely sure where anyone's got that from, but uh, there we go. Uh, but a couple of other things about C.C. West. Um, I never heard from him directly about uh, the response videos that I did. Uh, I left numerous comments uh, on his two videos about Mabel, saying, hey, I've done these response videos to you, you know, you want to check them out at some point. It was quite obvious from his second Mabel video that uh, he had not seen my first response video, which uh, I did say in a comment, you know, that's disappointing, man, you've not seen my video. You know, I, I've told you about it in the comment section uh, numerous times. Uh, so yeah, that, that definitely did disappoint me. I didn't expect him to be convinced to change his mind about Mabel, but I expected at least some sort of comment from him saying, oh, okay, cool video, man. You know, Because I, I think his videos are very well put together. They're well edited, good audio quality, uh, well-structured arguments. I think the main issue is that he admits a lot of important information that uh, makes Mabel sound far worse than she actually is. Um, but outside of that, I think they're really well thought out and well put together videos. And uh, he does something which uh, a lot of videos like that don't really do, which is give examples of what he's talking about, which is, I thought was uh, really good to see. So uh, the, the fact that uh, I, didn't, I never heard from him uh, really did disappoint me. But there are a few other sort of minor things about his videos that 
also kind of bug me uh, that I just want to briefly get off my chest. Uh, first of all, he says in his second video that he's not willing to talk about Dipper and his role in uh, any of the kind of things Mabel did because the video was about Mabel and not Dipper. But he talks quite excessively about Dipper in other parts of that video. He talks about Pacifica in his second video about Mabel quite excessively and about how much he likes her redemption arc. Which brings me on to another thing, which is in this graphic novel, there is a story, the first one actually, about Pacifica. You know, it's a little bit more character arc to her and her sort of redemption arc. And I actually think it's a lot better than what we see in the show with the Northwest Mansion Mystery. Because the story in this focuses much more on Pacifica's character and her redemption. Northwest Mansion Mystery, it's kind of more like, like about you know, the Northwest family as a whole, and the redemption arc itself is really just the second half of that episode, really. And um, I mentioned this in my second response to C.C. Westo when I made a vlog back when the first episode first came out, I actually did sort of say that this, you know, was the start of a potential redemption arc, but actually it turned out it was the entire redemption arc. That's all we ever ended up getting with Pacifica, um, outside of this graphic novel, I guess. Um, and I imagine he would have read that story, because I, I can't imagine he would have just found the don't mention it story that he talks about in Ma the second video about Mabel, and not also read the rest of the graphic novel. So he must have read that story, and yet he doesn't talk about it at all. So it, it's, it's strange to me. Uh, the other thing that irritates me, of course, the don't mention it story, where there is this apology for Mabel at the end of the story. And um, the whole story there really is very much about Pacific, excuse me, Mabel having a bit of self-awareness and self-realisation about the flaws in her personality. And that is really what that apology at the end of the story is the culmination of. C.C. West sort of sees it a little bit more in a vacuum though and sees it as just these three panels of her apologising to Dipper. And his response is, well that's not enough. Which I find kind of strange because in his first video about Mabel, he does sort of insist that there should have been like maybe a minute or so in the finale where they just take a little bit of time out for Mabel to apologise for everything that she's done, you know, and just verbally say that she's sorry. And apparently when they do that in the graphic novel, it's still not good enough. I don't I don't really get what CC West wants at this point. Now, I, I almost was imagining like Alex Hurst watching that second video he made about Mabel and listening to that sort of part and saying, oh, that's not enough, you know, we need more than that. Uh, and just really just throwing up his arms and being like, I give up. I don't understand what you people want at this point. Um, I, I honestly don't know what, what more y you can really have as like an apology, you know. An, ap an apology really isn't kind of a, like a, a volume-based sort of thing. It, it's not kind of a sort of an amount sort of thing. It's, it's either like an apology of, you know, gen being genuinely sorry for something, or it's not. So I guess what he had in mind, maybe, was just Mabel making up for things with her actions, which she kind of does in the story that he's just lived through, you know, and don't mention it, and also in the finale of Gravity Falls. But, um, no, he, he kind of just viewed it a little bit in the vacuum with uh, just those three panels of her saying she's sorry. Uh, and there's no suggestion from him in that second video about what he thinks would have been a better idea. He talks about how he felt to have done better in Northwest Mansion Mystery because Pacifica makes up for past bad actions by verbally saying she's sorry and also with her actions in saving the day, which is kind of what Mabel does in the finale and the graphic novel and at the end of the story in the graphic novel by verbalising she's sorry. So um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what C.C. West wanted from a Mabel apology, to be honest. Um, and I, it's not even clear to me if that's really the problem for him with Mabel's character. Is he sort of suggesting that if there had been a decent apology from Mabel, where her actions are redeemed or something, that it would have been okay? Because that's another common counter-argument that people come to me and say that is really the problem with Mabel's actions. It's not that they're bad, it's that, that there's no consequences to her actions, there's no redemption to them. Which um, is possibly true, but I don't quite understand why that in and of itself makes Mabel a bad character. And CC West video is not titled 
the lack of consequences to Mabel's actions are terrible. It is titled, Mabel is Terrible. And it's not even clear, really, whether or not C.C. West thinks Mabel's bad as a person, like, sort of, in-universe, within the context of the world the show takes place, or if he just thinks she's a bad character. Because I would definitely be willing to agree that Mabel is a bad person at times, but that doesn't make her a bad character. It's a very different thing, especially when you're talking about a work of fiction. So, yeah, uh, that's that, really. That's all I wanted to say, really, about uh, the situation with C.C. West. If anybody has any opinion on whether or not they think I should keep those videos up or not, uh, please do let me know. Um, but that's basically it, guys. I will see you guys around.